Here in this code sample, we have the definition for the class finance utils. Here we can see the definition for the static uh, property that, in order to access a static property we define in a class, we should write the name of the class and then period and the name of the property, the static property we want to access. We also have the definition for two static uh, functions calculate tax and calculate VAT and here I invoke calculate VAT a static method defined in the class finance utils and pass over a number and get in return the calculation of uh, finance utils dot VAT multiplied by the uh, number I passed over so the output in this case is this